Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Today I'm excited in my spirit. I have an exciting prophetic word for somebody. God says multiple celebration. God says celebration upon celebration. Marital curses, marital limitation has been broken in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. God says I should tell you marital limitation and marital stagnation has been broken in your family in the name of Jesus. I hear breakthrough, breakthrough, marital breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Pastor Honoring with Purpose and Marital Bliss. Thank you for being a part of this family. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, do, do subscribe and click that notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. Like, share the video, leave a comment so that I know how this channel has been a blessing to you. This word today is coming to someone you have experienced not, not, not just you as an individual, but your family had experienced serious marital issues. From your grandfather to your father to your mom, from or from your grandmom to your mom, you, 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 you have that pattern of not getting married or getting married and getting divorced, broken marriages, near marriage syndrome. You, you get engaged in your family. Your siblings, your, 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 your aunts, your uncles, they get engaged, they, 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 they get engaged, but they just are never married. Or they, 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 they can cohabit. They can cohabit what we normally call come with stay. You can cohabit. It's okay if you cohabit with a man. It's okay for you to just have children with a man, have children out of wedlock, but to get married is a problem. God says rejoice because he has turned his face in the direction of your family. Every marital stagnation, marital curses are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. God says he is breaking every marital curse, every negative pronouncement that was made, that was made and has been working against your family from generation to generation. God says those words are annulled in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Those cases are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. God says it's a season of celebration upon celebration upon celebration in the mighty name of Jesus. You are getting married. Your siblings are getting married. Your family is not about to recover, will not recover soon. Your family will not recover soon from what God is about to do. From one celebration to another celebration when you feel like no, this is too much. You are getting tired. Yet another celebration. God God says, brace yourself, brace yourself, because marriages are about to hit your family from left and right, north, east, south, and west. There is about to be unending celebration. God says there's about to be unending celebration in your family. There's about to be an unending celebration. People that have cohabited for years, the husband is just going to get up and say, it's time for us to legalize this thing. It's time for us to bless this marriage. It's time for us to bless this marriage. Cases are being broken right now. Chains are being broken. Chains are being broken right now in the name of Jesus. Marita cases are being broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Kala zuhaya na zokaya na manana nasia. Li zubra haya na zokaya la rusha. Kala zuan ha na zaha na zaha. There is someone God says the veil is lifted off your face in the name of Jesus. The veil God says your face has been covered. It's a lady. Your face has been covered with a veil. Like people might see you and they want to come close to you but when they unveil you from a distance they see a beauty but when they come close they unveil you they see an old woman. God says that veil that veil that makes you ugly that makes you ugly that makes you ugly it is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. That veil is taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Your beauty is shining forth. Your light is shining forth. You are springing forth Kayana la rohaya na mana God says celebrate, 
Celebrate, celebrate. Kaya zuba rara siana malaru shakaliana rara suha. Kaya na manana suha na na na. There's another person. God says something. They have been a cycle. They have been a cycle. It's not like men don't come towards you, but when they come and you feel like it's about it, the moment they start to. Talking about marriage, something comes up, something comes up, and misunderstanding comes from no way, and there is a separation. The moment they start making plans, there is a misunderstanding. You've had you you've had series of, of failed relationships, almost getting marriage syndrome. God says that cycle is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That cycle is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. God says, Arise and shine, for your time has come. God, some, someone said, God, God is saying so to, to, to somebody. He says they, they, your, your kingdom spouse was in your life, and for some reason there was an attack on the relationship, and they left you. They left you. They left you for no reason. God says He is taking away that attack, that arrow that was shot at them. God says He is taking it away. They are coming back to you, and they are coming to tell you that they don't actually know what happened. They don't know what went wrong. They don't know, but they are back. They are back and they need you desperately in their lives. God says, take them back. Take them back. The arrow, the arrow that was shot at them has been undone. It has been removed. It has been sent back to the sender. God says, rejoice. Rejoice. Celebration upon celebration. Celebration upon celebration. Your family is about to celebrate marriages. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive this word with gladness. Receive it with gladness. Ah, la zoba rasuanda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you. God bless you. Shalom.